which is called cleaver. You literally, it has like hooks and you can just stick it to your clothes. And uh, that also can be used for curdling milk. You can also eat that. You can make a tea out of it. It's also very good for your lymph system. This is called uh, bed straw and there's also cleavers. So if you just write gallium, and then you can understand the gallium is too Oh, this is actually a great mushroom. This is actually food. Um, and where there's one, there's more. So this is actually a great mushroom, and they're called wine caps. And they're prolific growers, and they are very common in mulch like this. And uh, they get much bigger, and they're super tasty. And uh, this little little thing right here. Oh, so since it's basically. So I'll give you that. So if you see here, look at that. This is a piece of wood that is actually inoculated with mycelium. So mycelium is thin fibers, thin threads. Do you see that? No, no, come come closer. Come come this side. Come this side. And then you can see close. Look at this. Look how cold it is. You see it? So you can see these thin, thin networks. So this is actually, these are only one cell thick. And these mycelial networks are, are growing underground. And they are like the brain of mushrooms. And they grow, grow, grow. And they absorb nutrients and they absorb water. And then when the conditions are correct, they say, okay, it's time to create a fruiting body or a mushroom. And they pop a mushroom above ground and that mushroom cap opens and the spores come out of that and they get blown all over and that's how it spreads itself. So it's an incredible being. And this could be, uh, the actual largest organism in the world is mycelium. Um, I don't even know the number, it's astronomical. It's bigger than whales. It's bigger than the biggest whale on the planet. It's in Oregon. And so they've done uh, DNA samples. This huge organism. Thousands of feet. It's bigger than the biggest whale. I mean, whales are huge and it's bigger than whales. So that's all I can tell you. Um, so that is the honey mushroom, Ar Armillaria species. And so this mushroom is called a wine cap. And you you actually can take this and cultivate uh, from it. It's very, it's very, you, you need to know a little bit of what you're doing, but I, I started some. Um, so you can often find wine caps uh, growing. Mushrooms are a whole different level as far as like being able to put a mushroom in your mouth and eating it. That's gonna take some time. Uh, why I know this mushroom is a wine cap by staring at it for five seconds, I cannot explain to you. Um, you know, after 10 years though, you'll also be able to do that. Hello! You found a spider? Was it this big? It was so small. It was so Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Do you think, was it cool? It was really cool, right? You weren't like afraid of it, or you felt excited by it? It's on me. It's cool. It's on me? Yeah. It's crawling on me? It's crawling on me? <laughs> and I'm here! See how that's okay? You've long legs in your hair. See how that's okay? <laughs> like, no problem. I don't need to panic and get all crazy, right? This is a spider. This is a spider. Why is it in your hair? My hair is just, you know, just part of my body. I mean, Daddy Long Leg doesn't want me, so it's just gonna crawl on me and then crawl off. And I don't need to like feed no, it. No, but up. it's not crawling off. Well, it will eventually. So, no, we're totally fine. Like, this is totally fine. So, these are the kind of dandelions, if you're really averse to dandelions, these are the kind of dandelions you wanna eat. Nice, small, succulent. Anybody wanna try one? Yeah, and also, you know, so here's the dandelion. Help, help yourself. Pick one leaf and try to pick it in a way where you're not ripping it. Where maybe you use, uh, I like to use my nail on my finger, kind of as a scissor. And so again, realize that you're not eating this to please your tongue. You're eating this to get a medicinal understanding that's intuitive and instinctual. So when you have this experience, nature will teach you and say, hey, you need this, you know? And this will help you in this way. And you'll be like, okay, I can't deny that. So it will be a little bitter, but not so bitter where it's intolerable. And just as, just an experience is just an experience.
So I think that's the greatest thing we need to learn with, with foraging is like, just have an experience. Don't be like, don't judge it with your taste buds. Just have an experience. There's some good dandelions. Now I'm, I'm having, so that's all I'll tell you about the wine cap.